Hello, ladies. So I'm going to start this broadcast. This is a really important um, live that I feel a lot of you will benefit from, and it will really help step up your live game online. Live videos are the number one way in order to go far in this business and to do well. And I can promise you that um, there's so many things that I learned. I listened to Shailene Johnson. She is a great person. I've been posting her podcast. It is one of the best um, pieces of self-development that I've listened to in a long time. And I took out some notes and I'm going to go over the top eight tips um, for helping your videos just get you the interaction and engagement that you want. So a lot of you stress out about the engagement and what you're seeing on the videos in terms of how much um, how many views you're getting and how many people are online. Like, I don't want you caring about that stuff. What I want you caring about is boosting that engagement. So the first thing is to grab attention in the first 10 seconds. So do not, um, come on. And I did it for this video and I've been really trying to make an effort, um, to, uh, like I'm really trying to build an effort to grab people's attention right away. Don't wait for people to come on. So don't start the live, watch the countdown and then like stare blankly and like be fiddling with your phone and be fiddling with this and fiddling with that. And like trying to play music, like stop it, stop doing those things. Because what that does is a lot of people are not going to watch your live videos during real time. They're going to watch them later. So if you don't grab their attention in the first 10 seconds, then bye bye they're scrolling. So do not wave. Do not wait for people to come on. Um, it won't help your views. So pick a topic to talk about. So let's try and be a little bit more organized with our lives. So if you're going to go on, I don't really see the point in doing like get ready with me. They're too long. They're too unorganized. Too many things go wrong with the get ready with me's. I don't watch them. I never watch them. And I will tell you right now that I've done very few in my day and I do not feel like any of them have been really that effective. So what I want you to do is pick a topic to talk about beforehand. So that's important. Um, so for instance, one of the things I wrote down while listening to this, and she's not a unique representative, she's just someone who had a really a lot of really good tips. So long lashes, we know some people struggle using two-step process. Here's my best tips for you. So you come on and you say, I have the best tips for you for those short lashes. Put that in the first sentence. People are going to be like, okay, what is this tip? I want to know. So they get engaged and they want to know more. Um, you want to announce you have exciting news. So these are ways you can grab attention. So you have exciting news. I just found out the best news and I cannot wait to share it with all of you. There's another way to grab people's attention. Um, launch right into a story. So people love stories. So who cares about people jumping on like halfway through the story or not? Like you might be telling like, you're going to come on and tell a story. Make sure when you come on and give that story that you're really trying to, um, like if people will start commenting, so you're going to start getting engagement. Like what's she talking about? What is she doing? What is going on with this? Blah, 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 blah. So Get just start right in with the story. Who cares if, if people are jumping on later on? Your views come from people watching the video later on. Um, give people a reason to watch the beginning of your video. This was such a fabulous tip. So give people five tips. So let's say you're doing the five tips on uh, network marketing or five tips on makeup application. But at the beginning of your video, you're going to give a bonus tip. So thank you so much for anyone who's logging in right now. I have five tips on how you are going to have the easiest five-minute face in the entire world. But I'm going to give you a bonus tip for being on first and seeing this. And that bonus tip is whatever you want it to be. So mention it again. So to, as you continue on with the video, in the middle of the video, I want you to be like, and if you're just joining us, no problem. I just want to let you know we're on tip number three, I gave a bonus tip at the beginning of the video. So hopefully you'll go back and watch that after you're done. So that may, gives people an incentive to, even though they've just watched your live, to go back and watch the beginning of your video so that they want to see what's going on. So tell people what they're going to get. So tell them to ask questions at any point that you will get to them. So you're going to constantly be like, you know, ask questions throughout your live. So like, 
Do you guys feel like you struggle with like the makeup application? Do you not know how to do your eyebrows? Shout out below. What is the product that you like really wish you knew how to use better? Or what is a product, like if you're doing a product video, what is a unique product that you own? I'd love to hear it. I'm going to get back to the comments afterwards, but post them below. Let's get some interaction going. What's your favorite unique, um, you know, makeup tip or what's your favorite unique product that you've tried, okay? That is going to be a really important um, thing to have throughout. Uh, call to comment. This is huge, okay? So... Ask questions. So how many of you watching do a live like once a month? How many of you do a live once a week? How many of you are feeling like you need to go live every couple days? I want to hear about it. What are you going live about? What are you talking about? What are you passionate about? Share your comments below. I'm going to get back to all of them and I cannot wait to read them. So really make people engaged in trying to like comment during your video. So the more commenting type comments you make, the better it will be for interaction later on. Um, how many of you, so I had wrote, how many of you have tried our products before? How many of you have tried unique products before? So I know we're a newish company and this is going to be something that, you know, will get people commenting like, yeah, I have the mascara or like, I didn't like the last mascara. What that's going to do at the end is you're going to be able to say, hey, Jen, I know the last mascara was not the best, but guess what? We have a brand new reformulated one that's better than ever. We sold 2.5 million of them the first day. Like it's insane. It's like we're taking over the world right now. Um, do this throughout your video. Like, don't just do this at one point. Do it throughout the video. Like, whenever you're talking about a topic, like, uh, I don't know, if you're talking about network marketing, like, how many of you know somebody in network marketing? And what's that company? Comment below with the company that they're in. I would love to hear about it. Just, like, something like that. And it just gets them, so call to comment. So, CTC. Um, middle of the broadcast, say to share the broadcast, but I want you to think about this. So in the middle, not at the beginning, and I see a lot of people doing this and I'm guilty of all of these things. So at the beginning, don't tell people to share the broadcast at the beginning. Wait till the middle of the broadcast. And what you're going to say is if you want to do, um, if you feel like anything I'm saying is really, really important, you have a friend that loves makeup and, or, you know, you think that this content would really help your own business, feel free to share this to your wall so that you can really outreach and help other people. Or if you've got a friend that really doesn't know how to apply eyeshadow, this might be a really good chance for you to just tag her name below. And that way, you know, I can, you can share the video with her that way and I can maybe reach out and give her some one-on-one -on -one help. You really want to build up people engagement in order to do well with this business and in order to do really well with this business people need to come to your Facebook and feel like they're getting content that they're actually able to use so you're gonna end your videos so there's two more things you're gonna end your videos with a CTA call to action so reward them so give them a bonus tip at the beginning so at the beginning you gave a bonus tip so you're you're rewarding them for going back and watching the beginning say you know what if you love these five tips on makeup application or network marketing or whatever you're talking about go back to the beginning of my video and I gave an extra bonus tip if you missed it if you just joined us halfway through um, Another thing is I'm going to go live at the end of the week. Is there something you want to see, like a makeup tip? So call to action. If there's some makeup tip that you need in your life, I want you to post it below because at the end of the week, I'm going to do a video for you on that specific topic. So you got to tell me what you want to see and then I can make that work for you. So your call to action at the end is please share my video. It's going to get me content. No, you want to share it because you want to give people a reason um, something for them. So like something tangible, like you're going to, like I said, you're going to give them a makeup tip that they want to see. And the biggest tip that I took from this, and I just did it because you know me, I don't like to listen to things and put content out there without learning it myself because this business is all about learning and I figured it out. And my God, ladies, this is a game changer. So I want you listening. So this is the biggest thing that I took out of this. Now, number one, you have to do your videos, um, in order to do what I'm about to tell you, it must be on your business page. So you need to get a business page for this, okay? So if you're going to go live on your wall, no problem. Do the live on your wall. That's not a big deal at all. 
but the other um, problem is that I was unable to do this feature on my main wall. I was only able to do it on my, on my business page, which is fine because I've been spending a lot of time focused on building up my business page, but it, this is a cool feature. So if you do this and you boost that live, even for $5, girls, that's not a lot of money. That's the lowest you can go. Boost it for five bucks, but you can get captions on your videos. So like if they're scrolling, so let's say they're scrolling through and they're looking at, oh, look, it says something about like in the video, it'll say what you're talking about. And let's be realistic. When people are scrolling, nobody's scrolling with the sound on. Often people are doing it in like meetings when they're bored or like, you know, they're, they're looking at their phones or they're in bed and their significant other sleeping. Like they're not listening to, um, in order to hear the sound for your, your live videos, 90% of them, honestly, think about it. You probably see silent. I don't turn on a lot of videos and listen myself. I can't imagine how many don't turn on and listen to me. So how you can resolve this problem is you can add captions. So that's why the beginning of your video is so important. Going back to the first tip to grab attention in that first 10 seconds. So no more like setting up the phone, like that's the worst you can do. You just start the video. Who cares how many little eyes are on? Who cares who's on? Because your videos go back to like when we just only had videos. It doesn't matter. You still grab people's attention in that first 10 seconds. So they'll see in their caption, this is the most exciting um, long lashes. We know that people have really short lashes. Let me give you five tips on how to make your lashes longer. And then you do the video and people will see that caption and it captions the whole video. So I found a really good um, YouTube explanation of how to do this. It's a little bit complicated and you can only do it on a computer. You cannot do it on your phone. But let me tell you, I just did it for my Why People Fail in Network Marketing so often video. I put captions on it because I wanted to test it out and it worked. But once again, it has to be on your business page. So um, I think I've gone through all my content. Uh, I'm not going to, if you have questions, you can post them below because I'm just going to end this now. But po questions, post them below. I'll get to them and answer them. Um, and I'm also below in the comments going to post uh, the video showing how to add captions. So it takes a few steps and it'll take you like, give yourself 15 minutes. I learned how to do this in 15 minutes. It is so key to your business. And then if you boost that for $5, you're going to be able to use that. And that comes up in people's news feeds. So they don't even necessarily need to be going to your business page. So if I go live on my wall, which I will, this is how I will be doing it. And sometimes I'll go live on my business page just to save that step. But if I go live on my wall where I get more views to begin with, that's smart. So I'm going to go live on my wall. I'm going to do the video. I'm going to upload that. If you don't know how to do that too, it's very simple. Um, and you can just go and uh, how do I download a live? And it's very easy to do. Um, so I will download the live from my main wall and I will I already do this and then I upload it to my business page. I do it that way. I don't share it. Don't share it. Download and upload. It is so much smarter. Trust me. So then on my business page, I'm going to be able to go and add captions and now I'm going to be able to add captions and I'm going to be able to boost those videos, which is going to boost my content and boost my online engagement. So I know that was a lot. If you're brand new, this is like way over your head. Don't worry about the caption part. Don't worry about that. But I want you to try. You want to do well. Everyone's so scared of going live. These are the tips that make your lives engaging. People are going to watch them. People are going to watch the replay. Also, when you're doing your little caption at the top of like what it's about, make sure like I don't know really what the right or wrong answer there is. Like I get a lot of views when I'm like, you're not going to believe this. And then that's what my caption is so that people are more intrigued to watch it. I believe that building more intrigue with what you post at the top is the most important. Like what I did with this video, the top eight tips on how to make your live videos better. I want to see our team, our Boss Beauties team, just destroy everybody with how well we are doing with our live videos because this is such a game changer for everyone. Okay, I love you girls. Post any comments below. I'm going to copy and paste that video over so you have it. Watch it. Like I said, it takes 15 minutes. Pick a video that you want to like try it out on and it should work no problem. So I am not a like techie person, but I can probably help you along the way if you actually legitimately want to try this and make your videos better. Mwah.